Hey guys, and welcome back to The Upper Hand. Today we just wanna talk about what Lindbergh sign is, if you have that, uh, how to know if you have that, and what that means if you do have it. So we'll answer all of those questions today, just stay tuned. So what that is, is a sort of an adhesion between two tendons in the volar radial wrist here and it is a little connection between the FPL, which is the flexor pollicis longus, and the FDP, the flexor digitorum profundus, to the index finger. And again, that little connection kind of connects those two tendons down there. And the way to test to see if you have this is to bend your thumb across the palm, do sort of a composite flexion there towards the hypothenar eminence and or the distal palmar crease right there. And if you can do that without the index finger slightly bending, then you don't have that anomaly. Uh, about 21% of the population is the last um, percentage that I saw uh, online um, of the people uh, that have this anomaly. So again, if you uh, were to bring your thumb over and you start seeing that index finger also kind of flex, um, that would be a positive indication for Lindbergh's sign. Um, it doesn't typically bother people that much, um, but think about if you have some type of musician or um, somebody that uh, really needs to be able to isolate, you know, thumb by itself, index finger by itself, whatever that may be. Uh, is there a surgery for it? Yes, you can go in there and um, kind of release that adhesion. Um, most people, don't have to get that surgery. Me personally, I've never seen that in the clinic and I don't feel like I ever will, but you know, never say never. Um, so that's, that's all for today. We just wanted to teach you um, what Lindbergh's sign was. And if it's anything to worry about, it's certainly not. We do see it in quite a few of our clients. Again, you know, close to 20 to 25% of the population has this. Hey guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. We hope you learned something today and that this was helpful to you in some way. So you know our goal for this channel, The Upper Hand, is to give you guys the upper hand as you seek to better understand conditions of the upper extremity and just all topics related to occupational therapy in general. So please take a second out of your day, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you can be sure that you're going to see all of our upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you next time.